Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Minecraft. As you can see, I've had a bit of a makeover. In fact, I've had a bit of a Damien makeover, thanks to the wonderful Shizzy, who's given me these marvellous new skins. She gave me this one and a second one, but I'm going to save the second one until later, because it's a bit seasonal. Let's just leave it at that. So, thanks again, Shizzy. It's absolutely marvellous, or as Damien would say, I feel wonderful, I do. So, right, let's uh, have a quick run through what I've been up to recently, and then I'm going to go and uh, start a little building project with you guys, which uh, hopefully uh, we'll get done this episode. If not, we'll run it on to the next episode. Should be fun. We still have the breakdancing sheep. They just love going up there to have a little spin. Spin, sheepy, spin, spin. Nope, he's not going to do it. He's shy. <laughs> Never mind. My chickens have disappeared. I have no idea why, except for the fact that when I logged on, there was a loud explosion. So I have got to assume that my chickens have just exploded, which is great. Chicken a la boom boom has become a reality. Yay! Um, one little thing going on in my experimental build room, which is now much larger than it was, is I have been working on the concept of uh, reed farming, because I've never built one of these before, and I just wanted to uh, have an idea of what I could do with them. So I'll just run through you quickly with this. Um, there is a reed in the center, there's some water in front of it, and as you'll see there's a piston behind it. Okay, so the, underneath the water there is a hopper which comes through to this, this chest here, which you can see has got a bit of sugar in there. What happens is this. As you can see there's a signal coming through around here and across this top block. The signal actually comes from this uh, cobblestone, uh, this, this uh, furnace here, which has got 14 cobblestone in there. It doesn't actually matter what is in there, it just needed 14 objects, because 14 objects is enough to send a signal two squares. So through this block and into this comparator, which then fires it on to this uh, relay, uh, which provides a redstone signal across this top block here. Okay, now this is important. Because what happens here is when, let's just get rid of that lamp for a second here. When this uh, reed grows up, it uh, grows up and touches that top block, which creates a, a redstone signal that goes through to the piston, forcing the piston to uh, pop out. Let me show you. Uh, so exactly, as if I was to try to place the reed here, that pops out. There's a little bit of a bug there you can see, is the... the reed does not always land in the water and I'm trying to work on getting rid of that but uh, in general there that pops out and it pushes it into the water through the hopper into the chest at the same time there's another piston here pushing upwards which pushes this block upwards which breaks the connection okay so what happens is that block gets pushed up so it no longer provides a circuitry like that and this goes black because this goes black there's no longer any power coming through to the piston down there so it uh, returns itself to the way it was and it's as simple as that the reed grows it creates a circuit that forces that piston to push out which pushes the reed hopefully into the water through the hopper into the chest so that's just one reed wide. I'm actually going to build one of these um, a little bit larger. I'm thinking about 14, 15 rows of reeds. And I'm going to put that over where Tenpenny Tower is going to be later on. And that will get rid of a lot of my um, reed farming problems. I just need to go out there and AFK for a little bit. And when I come back, I should have lots and lots of reeds. Meet the dogs. Hello, dogs. Say hello. Sausages. Um, so far, they don't have names. If you want to give me name suggestions, fire away. Okay, now 
the last episode I put up, you would have seen um, me working with uh, April Sims 3 Symbiote on this. And as you can possibly see, it's not finished. Um, I'm still waiting on some organization with her to get this, um, get a schedule for us putting out our videos. And we're also going to record a second set where she's going to finish off the park area or do some more work on the park area. I'm going to finish off the library and come help her. Uh, the, the other thing that's happened around spawn recently is I've got a bit bored with fences. So I started looking at alternatives and I came up with this little hedgerow idea, which not only serves as um, a fence, it stops mobs from getting in. Underneath it, in, buried in the ground, are a load of jack-o'-lanterns. You can't see them because they're so cunningly hidden, but they serve to light the area. So not only do we have uh, a, a bit of a change from uh, fence rows, we also have the illumination needed. If I press F3 here, if you look at the light, the, the line that says light, it's third from the bottom on the left. Okay, so you see light 15. So that's light 15 from the sky and 12 from the block. So if there's no light from the sky, the value would be 12. If you watch this number here, it stays quite reasonably lit. And it stays quite reasonably lit, even though there's no obvious lights. Which is because they're all hidden down here. And quite simply, let's just punch out a bit of uh, reed here. So they've got the reed here, we've got the, the leaves here. These are just leaves shorn off the trees here, using a um, shears so and there's a jack-o'-lantern under there so there's a um, some leaves put on top of it to hide that and then the rest of the leaves are put on to make a fence simple as that and I think I'm probably going to be using that a lot in the park perhaps around spawn towers to liven it up might even talk the hell kitty into changing her stone fence which is a uh, looks a bit grim and uh, generally just prettifying uh, spawn a little bit so the only other thing that's happened in spawn is there's some big plans ahead to um, extend the roadways and uh, um, expand the area where people can build in but uh, we'll come to that a bit later now those of you who uh, were on the live stream would have seen us uh, starting to work on the concept of railway line and the first thing we did here was um, we changed this room here a bit um, just made it look a bit nicer look a bit more scenic make it look a little bit more like a railway station a few potted plants around the place um, there's a workbench that needs to be removed it's free eggs why do we have free eggs it's because our station master is a chicken. So, Mr. Cluckles and his girlfriend still live here. Mr. Nugget, sorry. And as you can see, he's got married. Say hello to Mrs. Nugget. And they work in the station office. So, I have been expanding out this. So, this, this corridor has been done now. I'm going to put um, railway-like information and posters and things like that on the walls here just to brighten it up a little bit. And started working on the station terminus itself. Um, we have blocks and boxes and boxes of stone. And I need to go and get a, a load of um, sand so I can make blue glass because this is the format that the tunnels are going to be in. And this is this is what uh, if anyone was watching the live stream remember is what we did the uh, during that. So I've extended this out down this way a little bit because you, if you might remember it stopped about here. So I've extended it off into the distance there. And the reason being for that is uh, we did a bit of exploring the other day. I, uh, I'm a mage, Hell Kitty, and myself, and we discovered something quite fun. So let's go and see it, shall we? Okay, so to use the trailway line, you put a, 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 a minecart there, press the button, and off you go. And I'm going to be putting 
lava and lots of fun stuff in there. And here we are at the other end. There we go. So hop out and down to this nether portal here. And this nether portal here. goes to a stronghold and we've put all but one of the eyes of ender into here we've got rid of the lava underneath explored this area destroyed all the silverfish looted all the chests there's nothing left in them but rubbish Ooh, that looks like gold down there I might come back here and have an explore later on Oh, love the door. Do you see the door there? That wide open door that just leads to a hole that plummets down. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we've um, we found ourselves a stronghold. And over this weekend, most likely, um, some of us from the server will be going into the end and fighting the dragon. Uh, so I've upgraded my bow a little bit. Punch one, unbreaking three, power three, infinity one. Infinity is great. Fire arrows, fire arrows, fire arrows as much as you like. The number doesn't go down. You've got to have at least one in your inventory, but as long as you've got one, you can just shoot as many arrows as you want, which is absolutely ideal for fighting the Ender Dragon. So there we go. Let's uh, pop back onto a railway line. And over here there we go push the button and off we go and that gets us back to the railway station and I'm going to be building um, versions of those in all directions but for now this area this area direction hasn't actually had any work done on it um, so I'm gonna run and I'm probably gonna cut this bit out or at the very least compress it heavily so I'll see you at the other end Well, that is a long run. I normally take a potion of swiftness with me to uh, um, get it done a bit quicker. Um, this is going to be the the terminus at uh, this end, which is going to be the north end of the railway line. I might actually carry it on a little bit further. I'm not sure yet because I'd like people to be able to do the uh, um, travel a kilometre by uh, rail achievement down here, and this isn't quite a kilometre from the train station no matter how long a run it feels. So uh, this is one of our main supply routes now. If we can just duck through here quickly. There is just around the corner here another portal. Let's sprint a little bit. And that one here takes us through to A cave! Yay! Yeah, I know. But the cave, if we head upwards through these rather horrible and roughly hewn stairs, takes us up to the surface. It's quite a ways to go, unfortunately. Oh. E I did not intend to do that. I was supposed to be <laughs> I was supposed to be sneaking. <laughs> Never mind. It takes us down to this rather interesting looking uh, canyon which I now have to get out of preferably before he comes and says hello to me. So 
I don't have any blocks to pillar with, so we're going to have to do this the hard way, aren't we? So, let's have a little bit of an impromptu exploration. And hello, Mr. Spider. Certainly wasn't intending to do this. What have we got here? Right, let's get up here a little bit higher where it looks better illuminated. Alright, so... Yep, a couple of quick stairs up here. And no, uh, is that the end? No, that's not quite the end. And I've got some blocks now, so let's get that out of my inventory. Let's put the cobblestone in. Get this up to the next level. Come on, path around to me. Oh, you won't knock me, knock me off. That's it. And let's have a quick chat. There we go. I knew you'd come round to my way of thinking. My way of thinking being, you must die. So let's just have a quick run through here. I've been meaning to do this, and it was not deliberate, I promise you. Um, I've been meaning to have a run through this, because I love running through canyons. There's so much in the way of resources here. And actually, while we're at it, we'll pick up a few resources. So I hope you'll forgive me for doing the boring... Uh, mining stuff while talking to you but uh, I'm going to grab a few bits and pieces on the way up uh, the reason why we come clear if we ever find our way out of here All right, so that'll help me make some torches if I had some wood I don't have any wood I quite li deliberately didn't take any resources with me because I want to do something only with local resources but uh, never mind we'll find our way out of here Fortunately, I have a very good pickaxe with me. Mine, that was terrifying, though. I was not expecting that. Ah, creeper on a ledge. Just what you need. There, well, that's cleared him off. Cleared the way a little bit as well, and there's some light over there, so I want to go and see what that is. Just to make sure we're not at any point plummeting to our deaths. No, I think this is actually where we came in. Or very near to it. Um, possibly just below it, going by where the light is. So let's make a, a staircase up there, shall we? So, okay, um, yes, where was, I, where was I at before I was so rudely interrupted by gravity? Yeah, um, this uh, this route leads to one of our main trading areas, um, our main resource gathering areas, I should say. And yeah, that is still a very nice canyon, and I'm looking forward to exploring it properly later on. Uh, yeah, one of our resource, main resource gathering areas, which is up here. Uh, we're nearly there. Look, clay. This is the mesa I got lost in during the live stream, if uh, anyone remembers. And what I was thinking was, this is such an important area to us, really. I mean, we get so much of our resources out of it. And all there is is that rough little hole in the ground there for people to, um, to come through. So what I was thinking was, I'm going to build... Um, I'm going to build a proper little house here for people to come into. I think I want to keep this water here. Actually make it a feature of the house. And in order to do it, I only want to use locally gathered materials. So, but there is a lot of materials around here to, to use. There is plenty of sand. In fact, over there, there is a desert. Um, just north here uh, is lot of useful wood and a pig and two pigs 
which is good because I'm possibly going to run out of food while doing it and I want to make sure that everything is locally sourced. So we got deserts over there, a bit of plains, we have some oak, we have some birch, pretty much everything we need. We have a nice little hole in the ground with lots of different resources in there so I'm probably going to want to go in there for some iron, for some redstone, for some stone. Uh, but the rest of the materials I want to actually gather out of here and actually just get everything out of this area itself. So that's the plan and that's going to be my build for the next couple of episodes. I'm going to start it off in this one. Doubt very much if I'll get it finished. We'll finish it off in the next episode and uh, let's go through it together. Listen to the call of gravity you. There, thank you. So I'm going to level this area out a little bit and we'll put the foundations in. The foundations will be cobblestone and I will build on top of it using local materials. So that will be clay, that will be um, sandstone, that will be wood. But the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, build here with some of this cobblestone we gathered, I want to build a furnace because the first thing I think I'm going to want to need here is some glass. So before we do anything else, let's pop over to the desert and let's grab ourselves some sand. Alright, so, uh, here we go, this is the path through, this is what I'm looking for. Well, perhaps it isn't the path through, let me just stick a light in there. No, it isn't, okay. I have to go round. In fact, why don't I just go over there, because there's loads and loads of sand, that'll do nicely. Yay, thank you very much. And we'll grab some of this clay as well. And we're also going to want to dig down a little bit and pick up some sandstone out of the desert too. But quite frankly, we've been using this desert, as, this desert, this nacer as resource gathering areas rather than trying to keep the beauty of them, unfortunately. I mean, it's a very pretty area, but we've desperately needed the resources. So... Uh, been a bit been a bit brutal with this I'm afraid but nonetheless let's grab ourselves a stack of sand yes I definitely need to get myself a better uh, shovel really uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry to record this today I've had uh, a very very busy week when it comes to uh, to YouTube I've been setting up an awful lot and uh, a um, whole two new extra series came out of my um, live stream on Wednesday, which was absolutely marvellous. So I really, really enjoyed it. Everyone else seemed to. Uh, one person apparently had a bit of problems with connection, and I hope they won't have it again, but uh, seemed to enjoy it nonetheless. But I've been putting that up during the course of the week, uh, working on some stuff that uh, I have been promising people for ages that I would do and just haven't got around to it, haven't found the time. But was doing that this morning and during the course of the week as well how much how much do we have 44 right another 20 I think there we go right and um, it's getting dark but Fortunately, we've illuminated a lot here. Give me your string. I said, give me your string, not your eyes. So, yeah, I've been doing an awful lot this week. I've had loads of fun, to be totally honest with you. I'm certainly not complaining about that fact, but uh, I've just been rather busy. And this evening, I'm going to be uh, involved in an ultra hardcore with the fine people of Team Tuxedo. Ultra hardcore, if you're, if you're not aware, is... Um, basically a survival competition where you get put out alone or in teams and your job is to gather resources you need to survive and basically survive eventually find your your fellow 
um, competitors and um, wipe them off the face of the earth. That's loads of fun. But, uh, oh, what have we got here? Oh, we got another spider here. Go away. Thank you very much. But thank you for all the string. Oh, there's a little bit of stuff in here. I pop that in there. Don't need any of this right now. There we go. Um, yes, new sword. Looting three, sharpness four. Best sword I've ever had, to be honest with you. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Right. So while it's dark downstairs, let's have a look at this stairway a little bit. Um, uh, first thing I want to do is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. First thing I want to do is go down to the bottom here and get some resources. I want some redstone. I want some iron. If I find a few diamonds, yay. If I don't, never mind. Um, and then I want to actually really want to block this off a little bit. And I'm thinking I'm going to use this die right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll, I'll I'll tunnel out as much of the die right as possible, and um, <coughs> make some walls, floors, and uh, I think you can make stairs out of this. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Just the one. Oh, all the lava you can eat, though. I think I'll leave that alone for a minute. So yeah, basically, I want a, I want a few resources, but uh, I also want building materials, and I make they're going to make the staircases, and I think uh, I will probably make the. Um, the ground floor. I was, I was originally thinking cobblestone, but cobblestone is so ugly. So I might use. I think I'll use the unpolished version of this for the unpolished diorite for the floors. I can't remember if you can make stairs from this stuff or not yet. I've never actually tried, so that's something I will have to experiment. Oh, I'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. Very nice. And let's uh, tunnel our way out to there. Let's have a look around here, see if we've left anything. Yeah, we have. And iron is going to be quite important for my plans, so I'll probably be coming back here a bit in between episodes and hunting out some more. But at the moment, let's just grab some of this dye, right? And we'll start to uh, put, at the very least, the foundations in for um, our new building. So anyway, yes, ultra hardcore. Loads of fun. Um, but I, I really, really wanted to get another Minecraft episode out this week. Uh, and uh, oh, I've basically got an hour and a half left to do it, so I've got an hour and a half to um, finish uh, actually recording this, render it, uh, upload it, do all the annotations, and basically make it ready for you guys to watch. So, um, if you're not seeing this on Saturday, I apologize, but I ran out of time. A nice big vein here, so we'll have all of this. How much have we got? Yep, yeah, there we go. One more for a stack. Oh, right. nice. Okay, so we've got a stack of that. I think that'll make the foundations quite nicely. Clearly, we've got to come down here and do something about these stairs because they're horrible. And perhaps a more civilized way of getting to that canyon. Yeah, you know, we have these things called doorways, you know. Oh, it's still dark up here, is it? Okay, right. So, okay, let's uh, let's get this leveled out a little bit. We can always put uh, the sand back in. Two, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's about right. So 
So just lay all this out a little bit. Probably going to want to go down one more level, to be honest with you, just to uh, make things a bit consistent. But we get all this sand out of the way. And then we'll take this clay out of the way quickly. We're also going to need to want to take out this cobblestone here and kill this zombie. Go away. Of course, looting means I get far more in the way of zombie flesh than I uh, used to. Really useful. Okay, so let's block this up quickly. So the last thing I want to do is deal with the flood. But I do want to take this top level of cobblestone off and I'll replace it with diorite. So that will go, don't need an axe for that, so that can go in that slot. So that will go here. And we shall mine along there and replace along there. Like that, and likewise down this way. So, and replace that with diorite. Oh, getting a bit ahead of myself there. Like that. So now, if we take this out, we don't have to deal with the massive flood. But what I will do is I will take this level down one more we'll replace the whole thing with diorite be a very very confused squid there in a second when his uh, suddenly expanded lake becomes so much smaller again but, yeah. I don't think you can be a squid unless you're used to the hard knocks to be totally honest with you the hard knocks in the soft shell not entirely certain what that means but I'm sure it means something so okay let's get a bit of a, a bit of a foundation in here Leave that one because we are going to put it up a level. And that one because I keep on missing. Oh, gonna run out. Okay, let's go back and get some diorite quickly. Let's finish this off. And then, actually, I think I'm going to call an end to the episode. I think I've just about got enough time to record another one, so I'll probably go ahead and do some more building on this. Well, it would either be that or... Yeah, so this is exactly what I didn't want to happen, but it happened anyway. Um, hopefully I haven't flooded the nether. That would be amusing, wouldn't it? Um, actually probably not what I will think I will do is I will go on a little bit of a gathering expedition and I shall um, pull in the resources I need and then I will record an episode with the stuff recorded uh, with with the stuff recorded with the stuff gathered or at least a, a chunk of it gathered hello and then We'll do some more in the next episode, which I will probably record tomorrow. Nearly enough. I think I'm just going to take all this vein. There we go. A couple more here. And a couple more there. And a couple of diamonds there. Oh, this is more like it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, that's given us a better part of the stack. Let's pop upstairs. All the water's gone. Get the last of that uh, foundation laid. And then we'll call it an, uh, an episode, I think. Yeah. 
Uh, nearly there. Actually, looks like it's daytime now, so excellent. All right. So uh, let's get a bit more dye right down here. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, don't want that there. Okay, so people will step into it. They will step into it here. So we want like that, I think. And we're just going to put a board around. And then we're going to put some of that orange clay back down just to see what it looks like. That's it. Now we'll take that out, pop in this orange stained clay and immediately put the wrong block down. Yeah, I'm so good at this. Consummate professional. It shows really, doesn't it? Oh, actually, I think I quite like that. Uh, as colours go, that's not bad at all, really, is it? I think I might actually want to make this a little bit deeper and move the foundations out to here, perhaps. But other than that, that's not looking too bad. And this actually fits in with my uh, my plans quite nicely. I think I'll have the staircase coming up here into the building here. We'll have a doorway out here. And I'm going to put bedding here, bedding here. I'm going to, I'm going to try an experiment with bunk beds, I think. And I want to put, um, you know, just some basic stuff here. So a sort of kitchen seating area here. We'd have some furnaces crafting area here. All the things that you need to um, actually work on it. Just, this is ugly. This is horrible. So I just want to incorporate that into a building where it starts looking better. And just make the area look pretty so people come through here and they feel happy rather than think, well, okay, we've got here, let's move on. And of course, I'm going to want to deal with this really, really horrible staircase as well. And I'm very happy at all the diamonds I found, to be honest with you, because I'm possibly the, 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 the poorest diamond person on the server by a long way. So that's that's excellent. Other thing I think I'm going to have to do is go and find myself some food, because I've got a little bit of cooked fish and one piece of cooked chicken. Oh, plenty of redstone now, that's good, because that ties in with a plan I have for the seating. I want to try something a bit new. But uh, let's just dump all this. Oh, let's have the iron ore out, because we're going to want that. But we'll dump the rest of the stuff in here, because we're not going to need it just yet. That's giving me a stack of glass. That'll give me some iron ore. We'll work out what we want to do with that when we decide what we want to do with the windows. This being a desert, I might not actually use glass. Uh, um, I may just put fence posts in as uh, your sort of uh, lattice windows. It just looks a bit better. And perhaps fill in a few of these holes around here as well. But, okay, I'm digressing. Um, this 20-minute uh, episode is now about 40 minutes. It's probably going to be a bit less after I compress that run through uh, the What's It, but I think I'm done. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you all wish me luck. I probably won't win. I'm not particularly good at these competitions, but uh, nonetheless, um, I'll be putting up footage of it. All goes well over the next few weeks, so uh, you'll get to see just how much I mess up. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft. Thank you, and good night.